In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to turn off your camera during FaceTime calls on your iPhone or iPad. This can be really handy if you want to maintain privacy or if you're simply having a bad hair day. Whatever your reason, the process is straightforward and just takes a few seconds to master. Let's dive right in. First, begin by opening the FaceTime app on your device. If you're not already in a call, you can start a new one either by calling someone directly or waiting to answer an incoming video call. With that set up, you're ready to move on to the next step, ensuring you're in the call where you want to turn off your camera. Now during the call itself, take a moment to tap anywhere on your screen. What this does is bring up the control menu. It's a neat feature that lets you access different options easily. The control menu will display various icons and tools you can utilize to manage your call settings more efficiently. Among the icons, you'll find one that looks like a video camera. This is the key to turning off your video output. Tap on that camera icon. You'll notice something interesting. It will either dim or show a line through it depending on your device's version. This visual cue means your camera has been successfully turned off. By doing this, you've switched from a video call to a voice only call, ensuring your image is not being shared with others on the call. Even after turning off the camera, remember that your audio remains active. Your FaceTime call will continue as a voice call. The beauty of this feature is that it allows you to maintain the conversation without the visual element, which can be beneficial in various situations. For example, you might be in a situation where you require more privacy, or you might find yourself in a location with poor lighting or a distracting background. Keeping your audio active allows you to express yourself vocally, which sometimes is all you need to communicate effectively. That's all there is to it. Turning off the camera in FaceTime, calls on your iPhone or iPad, is as simple as those few steps. This straightforward feature offers a great balance between maintaining visual privacy and keeping up the conversation. Now you're empowered with the knowledge to decide when and how you present yourself in FaceTime calls. I hope you found this guide helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials to make the most out of your devices. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.